my research project uh, when I arrived in Victoria working with the Venus Observatory uh, was intended to develop methodologies using seafloor cameras to study ecological processes. So I'm a benthic ecologist, so I mainly study uh, benthic organisms uh, in terms of look at the communities and the diversity and interactions among species. To conduct my research project, I used a camera. It's a digital steel camera deployed in Sanish Inlet on a tripod and it's connected to a camera platform. So I was using that camera and to compare my biological observations with the oceanographic features of uh, the inlet. I was using instruments like oxygen sensors, CTD, which measures salinity, temperature that were associated to that camera. This is really typical of the kind of image we would have. So especially what is interesting in here is you can see like the sediment resuspension. That's really typical with the type of lights we use and it's one of the limitation is every time we turn on the light we tend to excite the fish around and attract more fish and they would disturb a lot the environment and create a lot of sediment resuspension. So this octopus came one day and I saw it once in one year uh, in front of my camera so I followed it but I think the light did disturb him a little bit because he had funny behavior and that's the great thing of being connected to the camera I can actually see them uh, in their environment, in, in their own world. And here you see the squat lobsters, they're in aggressive position, ready to attack. And something exciting about that project is it was first an international project using a cable observatory, but also involved researchers from different disciplines. So as I was saying earlier, it's really time consuming to go through thousands and thousands of images. So we worked in collaboration with a team uh, in Roma, Italy, uh, in computer science uh, department. And what they did is develop uh, algorithm and processes to automate it, automatically analyze the images. So for example, in that case of the squat lobster, they develop an algorithm that would automatically detect squat lobster from the images. And so we could compare uh, automated detection with what I did manually to further be able to use uh, in a better extent the cable observatory. If, you, if we can automate uh, a lot of those analysis uh, to detect uh, animals in images, that will help us a lot and we'll be able to learn way more about those communities.